Welcome back. In this particular video, I am going to discuss about the practical exercises and solution of Unit 3 that is Database Management and SQL of Information Practice Grade 11 and it is suggested by CBSC and you can check it out from CBSC's website as well. Namaste student, this is Sanjay and welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Tip Now. Let's learn and learn and learn and learn and learn. But to say pehle, I would like to request you that please subscribe my channel yadi aapne abhi tak nahi kiya hai. And if you really like this video then don't forget to like and share it as well. First of all let's talk about the practical exercise questions then we'll try to solve it. Write SQL command for creating a sprint table with the sprint id, name and marks and you have to set sprint id as primary key. Then you have to insert data in that particular table that is obviously a student. Then you have to delete the details of a student in the above table. And the next question that is 4 is saying that use the select command to get the details of the student with marks more than 80, right? So we have to write in a select command for that. Then we have to use all these aggregate functions like min, max, sum and average to, you know, calculate the marks of the student table. Then find the total number of, and now these all are basically with a single table and you, in the sixth question, it is saying that the find total number of customer from each country in the table that is customer table basically having this customer ID name and country and we have to use group by clause for that we will see that also question number 7 it is actually 7 uh, write the SQL query to order print ID marks table in descending order so these are the questions you know suggested by the CBSC so let's talk about all these questions solution so first of all when we say you know create sprint tables what I do actually I just open my SQL server and there I directly start writing code for this and then see the result so first of all it is saying that create a sprint table with the sprint ID name and marks so what I do I just go to my my SQL server it is already open and you can see at your screen as well so first of all it is saying that you have to create student table so what I do obviously we use create table then we will take the name as a student then I press enter then I open this small bracket here I have to take a student ID so what I do in short I am writing it to SID you can uh, take it to full name and then the data type I am taking to int and then because it is saying that it has to be primary key so we can simply write primary key right so you just write it to primary key then put this comma move to the next line and then again the next field is my name so I can simply write as name uh, you can take it to name normal but uh, I'm just keeping this to as name because sometime in when we do you know programming and any you know other SQL server if we work then sometimes the name is a reserved word so that's why I'm keeping to S name uh, but you can take it to name also now here I'm taking it to where care and you can put the size of that max size actually so I'm taking it to 30 again it's your choice you can take it to not null but I'm just taking it to simple field I mean you can have null as well here I'm taking it to marks and it's should also be you know integer so that's it and then just put this bracket and then you must ensure that semicolon is there so it is you know with the help of semicolon we always end our SQL command so now the my table is almost ready to be executed and to be created so just press enter so it is showing that no database selectors okay so because obviously I mean we are making a table so it has to be inside the database so first of all make sure that there is uh, you know database is already selected so what I do I just take my basic database which is by the name of Sanjay so here I can take and then after if I try to execute these all so let me write the code again so now I have written it let's execute it then what see what happens so now it is saying that the row is affected means it is executed successfully that means our st student table is created now and the next question now it is saying that uh, you know insert the details of new student in the above table so now let's insert some data inside it so what I do we all know that insert and then into the name of table is obviously my student and we have to make sure that values so what I do into in the next line I try to run I mean type 
the value so i'm taking it to one then i'm just taking it to send then the next say for example i'm taking it to 89 and then just close this bracket then run this so here it is saying that it is executed successfully let's enter some more data so all right so i have inserted almost four records so let's try whether all these are available or not so what i do just for checking i write just select star from a student and then see whether all are inserted so you can see now that all the records has been inserted into my table now come to the next question that is you know question number three and it is saying that delete the details of a student in the above table so you know what i do i just skip this particular step before deleting let's execute other questions or query we can say so what i do go to next fourth statement that is use the select command to get the details of the student with marks more than 80 now we have to display all the records of the students whose marks are greater than 80 so we can simply write what select then star the name of table that is obviously student now the question is saying that where marks i mean should be greater than what you 80 and then this put the same column and execute so now you can see it is showing you the records whose marks are you know greater than 80 in the previous it was 4 now it is showing you 2 so this is how we can you know execute queries and let's move to the question number 5 now it is saying that find the minimum maximum sum and you know average of the marks in the student table so here we have to use aggregate function or you can say mathematical functions so you know for that we can simply take say for example i mean you can execute all these you know individually but because it is saying that you know you have to execute all these and it is not explaining whether you have to execute it individually or together so according to me you know we can execute all these together so I just write query for all these aggregate functions so first of all it is saying that minimum so I am just taking to minimum marks so here I am using what minimum function for finding the minimum marks and then because we are calculating now uh, the field so it should be given a name so I am taking it to as you know min marks then put this comma then find maximum marks so what I am doing max function I am using and then again as max marks and then again press comma go to next line and because it is saying that average so we all know that avg function we use for that so avg marks and again as average marks so i am just taking it to avg marks and then put comma and take sum obviously total we are finding so sum and it should be obviously marks and then as what your total so i am taking it to total let me check whether it is sum or not so yes it is sum so my query is almost done now and then obviously we will take what from and the name of my table is student and then put this semicolon and try to execute this now you can see here it is showing you minimum marks is 60 obviously you can check it out from here and the maximum is 90 and the average is we are getting 76.5 and the total is 306 so this is how i mean we can execute all these you know mathematical functions i have taken all these together but uh, you can execute them individually as well uh, but according to question i think we should write all these functions simultaneously or you can say together right so let's move to the next question now and the next question is what let me minimize it find the total number of customers from each country in the table i mean the name of the table is what your customer where we have customer id name and country and we have to use this group by clause so what i do here first of all i just make a customer table quickly and insert some data there so i am taking this to create table and then my table name is customer and then cid i am taking as id i am taking it to integer then c name and it should be var care and again the size i am taking it to 30 and then the country so and obviously it should also be var care and then i am taking it to also 30 
you can take it to 255 or any size you like and then I think I have done you can also make it to primary key so let it to be primary key as well and then finally execute this by ending this bracket so it is executed now let's insert some data so I am taking to insert then execute it right again execute it with some other so I take it to 2 so now India is having 3 records again insert some other data to identify whether our query is working properly or not so I am taking it to now it is almost done now the question is saying that you have to count total number of countries individually with all the customers so for that we can simply write select and now because we have to count you know total numbers as the question is saying total number of customers that means we have to count customers so I'll use count function here and here I can put this CID and it should be you know as you can say total customers and then obviously what is my table name so that is customer so it should be customer and the condition is what group by obviously my country right and then semicolon and press enter so now you can observe say total customer are 3 and 2 you can also take you know uh, customer name with this count CID you select C name then count and again CID and from my table name is customer and then group by obviously my country then semicolon and run it I think I did some mistake you what you do here you take it to total customers and then try to run it okay I haven't put it this comma over here so it should be like this and then I think it should run press enter so now you can see it is showing you C name and total so this is how I mean uh, we can use group by clause so let's move to the next question now and now it is saying that write a SQL query to order the student ID marks table in descending order of the marks so on the basis of this obviously student table uh, we have to show the records which are arranged on the basis of this mark so we can simply write select star from my table name that is obviously student and then it should be order by what my marks right and because it is saying that display in ascending order so by default if you take order by clause without any other keywords so it becomes always it display data always in ascending order so just put this semicolon and press enter so now you can observe the result it is showing you all the data are coming on the basis of marks which are in ascending order now so 60 67 89 and 80 90 sorry so this is how I mean we can execute all these questions so I hope now that you will be able to write queries for all these kind of questions so that's it for this session and keep practicing and keep learning and obviously take care of yourself and your family and thank you for watching this video.